Hello, I am Sola Alfred. Welcome to the HDS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The bus fare increases which took effect on Monday, 4th July, comes following years of pleading by the minibus sector for a hike in the bus fare. The minibus operators had argued that increases in the price of fuel, spare parts, and general commodities meant that they should be awarded an increase just to keep their heads above the water. Public transportation passengers will have to pay increases ranging from 25 cents for short journeys to 50 cents for longer journeys and up to a dollar from the very long journeys. So we ask, did the government strike the right balance in awarding the bus fare increase to minibus operators? We tally the numbers on our voting platforms and here is how you voted. 75% said yes and 25% said no. We also took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. I think it's a fair balance. I believe the, the minibus operators deserve it. However, I don't know how negatively it will impact the commuters and the other aspects of society. But I believe it is fair in my estimation of it. Whilst I understand their plight, the fishermen and even the persons who board the buses to travel to different areas, they too are suffering. Now, that is not saying that um, the other persons don't have a problem. Like the fishermen who go out and when they come back, there is nothing but water in their boats. So but do you think the government and the bus drivers strike a good deal, both of them, both parties? For now, yes. For now, yes, I would give them that. But as I say and I maintain, things are hard for everybody and not only for bus drivers. Yeah, man, it's good, man, because the gas increasing and the bus driver now they have the little family and thing to feed and they get to the little business to pay the little bills. So the little, the little money they give them to put on the bus, it's good, man. I think. Both the government and the bus drivers are satisfied for the increase. But I also believe there's other sectors that need increases, especially the workers that have to pay transportation to go to and from work. That is my view and that is my opinion. Well, in a sense, no, I don't think that they strike a good deal. I do not have a problem with the bus fares, but the salary needs to go up. People are working and everything's expensive, gas is expensive, I do not have a problem with the bus fare, but the salaries need to go up. And with the 25 cents and 50 cents, government could have done better to give the drivers a little more on it, but the salary, Mr. Government, the salary, people's salary need to go up. Well, I feel that um, it's no problem, there is no problem with that because gas is up, so they can increase the, the bus fare, but not too high. But for a bon, it's still too bad to ruin much of the life. You, do, you always find people complaining or not everybody will be satisfied or agree to the decision. But so far, in my own judgment, I think the government has been very reasonable in certain, in certain um, instances, especially in terms of concession to get people and so on. So, whilst, for example, Labrador 525 is, is not, maybe not big enough, but the government has other incentives given to us which we have to take into consideration and knowing the state of the country at the moment. So I find, well, we can work with it. Just that people have to understand, but in all fairness, everything goes up. I think government should be considering about giving people a raise in their salaries also to meet up with the challenges they're facing at the moment. I am not in a good position to determine whether a good deal was struck, but I think definitely there, was, there is a need for an increase in the revenue of bus drivers. The cost of operating a bus has increased appreciably over, over the years. We are saying that I understand the impact on the commuter now have to pay either 25 cents, 50 cents or a dollar more for a given journey. But in a situation where price is controlled by government, it is always a case, hey, I will go to government asking for an increase in price. So from an economic point of view, we, we are saying this, uh, this is the, 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 the bad aspect of price control. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. 
St. Lucia's Carnival 2022 is shifting into high gear with all of the various components and competitions. Carnival music is blaring on the airways with steel pans, artists, revelers and queen contestants all fine-tuning their act in preparation for their moment under the spotlight. All of the carnival hype comes against a two-year break caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. With all of this carnival activity going on, we ask, are you feeling the carnival spirit? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsstlucia.org and vote. Remember, our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion.